Ahoy Pirates! One Piece Film Red is coming to theaters starting November 4th. We sat down with the cast and spoke with them about what would their character wear for Halloween? What kind of pirate would they be? What did they do differently this time around for the film? And a lot more. Hello everyone! Hey. Hi! Yes, alright, starting with a fun question. What would your character wear for Halloween? <laughs> Whoa. Hmm. Well, Halloween. Chopper, there's so many versions of <clears throat> Chopper dressed as other characters from other anime. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like he's a big fan of costumes. <laughs> I think Usopp would focus on what he's the most afraid of since it's Halloween. So he would just come dressed as life. <laughs> okay. He's really afraid of living. I feel like Brooke would go oh, and then just go out like normal and like not wear anything and just feel like nobody's judging him for a night because like they're like, oh, he's in a costume and be like, yes, this is a good costume. <laughs> but if he wasn't, if he wasn't trying to blend in and take that joy, it would be that like terrifying thing where you like stretch skin across your face and it's like, hi, I'm a person. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Nice. Nice. I like it. Uh, well, actually, uh, Ian, speaking of Brooke, uh, right. how does it feel to have such a music-based movie given that your character is the musician? It was great. And it was great not to have the responsibility of those songs <laughs> upon my shoulders. That would have put me into an anxiety uh, coma. Um, it was great as 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 a former musician myself and as I guess the straw hat musician. Uh, I got to tell you, the music in that movie is uh, unbelievable. And um, getting to watch it in the theater was like getting to go to a concert with a laser light show. And I, I love that. Now, we a couple of us spoke on the red carpet just the other day. There are so many episodes. There's quite a few movies. What do you feel you brought new to this film or did anything surprise you? Whoever wants to go first. I would say uh, Usopp uh, facing his daddy issues head on were, was pretty good and very surprising. Did not expect that. I, I think everyone in the movie, uh, more so than other One Piece movies, everybody has a really great shining moment, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and a really great like fight sequence. Um, so I think that in and of itself is probably the, to me, the most fun part of the movie. <laughs> I loved working with the dub director, Anthony Bowling, to find the funniest way to deliver all of my lines. That was so much fun. Well, and Anthony's such a like learned comedian. Like he's actually like mm -hmm. legitimately like studied. Like it's awesome. And he definitely does his research. I mean, he knows the show inside and out. Mm -hmm. Do you get much room for improv? Speaking of comedy, I mean, I know there's obviously a script. You're matching the mouth flaps, but are there ever how much room do you get to? Can we try something else? Yeah, all the time. I mean, anytime we think, I mean, after you've done this for a while, you can improvise to mouth flaps. And so it's not uncommon for us to go, hey, I've got an idea. And I think especially for One Piece, uh, we're a lot more empowered to do that since like no one has worked on it as much as the actors have. Right. <laughs> so like, it's one of those things that like any director that uh, ends up on it usually will defer to us if we're like, I don't think my character would say it that way. I think they would say it this way. They're, they're just like, all right, you do you. <laughs> what does that feel like as an actor to have that kind of respect and trust in the, your material it's it, it's actually i mean it's it's unique i think uh i don't think we get that on every show and we don't get that with every director typically um mm. so we've been very lucky in that regard um and it's such an honor to be on a show like this for so long for hundreds of episodes i mean it's i mean it's unparalleled like i, I just can't it's, there's nothing else in my life that has been this consistent <laughs> Yeah, it's impossible. I mean, to get a role like this that lasts this long and is this good, uh, you just don't, that doesn't come along for any actor, really, you know? So, also, oh, go ahead. Yeah. 
No, go ahead. <laughs> I was like, okay, I, wa- I had something to say. What was the exact wording of the question again? Just to make uh, sure was, I get it right. The question was, what does it feel like for you as an actor to be given that kind of respect and trust in your role and trusting you know your character best? It's deeply freeing um, because after you've played a character for this long, they have the voice and the choices that the character would make exists outside of you mm. to a point mm. where there is a way that your character would say something and you just kind of innately know it. And if it comes out and you say it <clears throat> in a way that they wouldn't say it, it feels wrong. You go, that's, that's not Brooke. Let me, let me try that again. And so um, once that happens and you are able to work on a script that is as good as the One Piece scripts are with a director that is as good as the One Piece directors are, it's you're free. You just live the moment and you inhabit the character that you know, which is like hanging out with a best friend and you just live the moment. Mm-hmm. Speaking of living the moment, if you were a pirate, what kind of pirate would you be? I'd be a terrible one. I don't, <laughs> don't like physical activity very much at all. Um, unless I was just drawing maps or something. That's working um, on navigation. Cartographer's a good job. Yes. Yeah, I would do that. So I've never actually been on a boat without vomiting. I've been on a lot of boats in my life and every single one of them just Mm. projectile vomiting. (laughs) It's I'm, I I get, I get car sick. I'm like a little toddler. Mm. Um, I, I I don't think I would be a very good pirate. I would just die. (laughs) We don't want that. (laughs) Uh, I I think Ian would be a great pirate. Yeah. It's the beard. (laughs) It's just the beard. Um, I would either do a musician or chef. I'm, I'd probably be a better at chef than I would musician. So I'm going to go chef. If I could ever stop puking, I would definitely be a musician, but. You'd be so good. You would keep morale up. <laughs> let's let's be become like, oh, pirates and just form a band. We'll just be singing for the pirates. Like the Rumbar Pirates. What's your yeah. band name? Straw um, Rough and Hat Ready. Odyssey. Ooh. Ooh. All right. And what genre of music do you think it would be? Punk. Norwegian yeah. <laughs> chill hop death metal. Okay. Oh my gosh, really yeah. Can, can we, we have, have a sample to do a variety. of that? <laughs> We're talking about bands. Can we get some samples of that music then? Hey, Norwegian chill hop death metal would be like. Yeah, something like that. Right. See, really now Sunny should be the over Zoom because no one is in time. No one or key. <laughs> it's impossible. It's fantastic. Right, it works for punk. One, two, ready, go. Oh. No, okay. yeah, Sniper King. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so maybe the band's not a good idea. <laughs> it's well, you know, it's a work in progress. It's okay. Yeah. You know, you gotta start somewhere. Now, with this film, music, as we've been discussing so much music, is such a big part of it. Do you have a favorite song, though, kind of depending on how you describe it, might spoil things, so we don't want to spoil anything. Uh, So as much as you can describe, do you have a favorite song from the film? I don't have a favorite song yet, but I've been listening to the soundtrack a lot while I'm drawing recently because I just love it. So Mm. I'll let you know when I pick a favorite (laughs) Um, new genesis won't get out of my head i've had new genesis in my head for since it is an earworm yes yeah (laughs) yeah i um i actually i know all of them really well because i was asked to do the subtitles for um for auto's music videos and so uh i like essentially like adapted the lyrics but they're just subtitles uh so my favorites are top musica and uh utakata lullaby i think is what it's called um but the things that I love about all of the music is that because each song was written by a different composer, they're just all completely different genres. And the lullaby one that I mentioned, nothing like a lullaby, but it like that song in and of itself goes through like four different <laughs> genres just in the one song. And it's incredible. Um, it's so fun to listen to. It's so cool. How was I didn't that? realize they used a bunch of composers like that. That's, That's amazing. so cool. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense now. Because they each have a different feel 
very different feel yeah and like it's it just speaks to the to you know ado's singing ability because you know she's she does she sounds still like herself but it, it, she just utilizes different parts of her voice in each song it's incredible mm -hmm. yeah that's incredible so range and not just of, of tone but of of types of sound she produces it's it's yes, amazing exactly, she has an amazing yeah. voice mm -hmm. what was that like adapting uh the subtitles because you know with music there's a flow with language and everything. And so when you have to change the language, something may not rhyme or the the rhythm won't be exactly the same. How was that process for you? Uh, I've been adapting songs for about 15 years uh, for Funimation for Crunchyroll. So uh, it was just really fun. Honestly. Um, it's a, it's definitely it's like a puzzle. You know, it, mm. take, it takes a lot of time mm. and it really is important to have a really good translator, which I thankfully did. Um, and you know, to give you kind of context, because uh, that can kind of, you know, context of uh, culturally what they're saying. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a really fun process. It was really fun. And it was really fun to get to know those songs so well. <clears throat> yes. Now, the movie comes out very soon. What would you like to let fans know or be on the lookout for for this film? Well, look out for a lot of characters that you might not have seen in a while. There are a lot of surprises there. Uh, the animation is kick-ass. You are going to love it. You need to see it. This is a film that you should see in theaters. That's exactly what I was going to say. Because especially the mix is so incredible. Mm -hmm. Like, it really does feel like you're at a concert. Like, you just get so immersed in it. It's beautifully mixed. Like, it's so worth it to see it in the theaters. Nice. I was like, you got your little glow sticks or something and be ready to do your dance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good, you Great talking yeah. to you. Good to see you. Thank you to the cast and thank you Crunchyroll and Toei Animation. So if you're a One Piece fan, this is an exciting new installment to the franchise. And if you want to bring your friends, this is a good one to start with because you do not need to be caught up on the episodes. You, you don't even have to have seen One Piece before to enjoy this exciting and beautiful, stunning film. So be sure to check out One Piece Film Red coming to theaters starting November 4th. I'm Carrie Lane with Fanversation. You can find me everywhere online at Carrie D. Lane. That's K-A-R-I-D-L-A-N-E. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.